GERD is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Everyone refluxes. Um, it is a physiologic event that occurs when the muscle at the end of your food pipe or your esophagus opens up. So if you're eating and it opens up, you may have stuff slosh up. That's reflux. It becomes reflux disease uh, when those that refluxing causes um, symptoms or pain. In infants, that may look like um, obviously fussiness during feeds or after feeds. If they're not growing well, um, if they're starting to have feeding aversion, if they're um, turning away from feeds or eating less. Um, obviously, if there's any uh, blood coming up with their spit up, that's concerning. So I try to ask a few questions for the parents. When does the reflux happen? Is it during feeds, immediately after feeds? And that's just physics, right? You fill this water balloon up with a lot of liquid uh, and they spit up. Now, if they are spitting up or vomiting large volumes quite frequently, then we might do more tests that look for other causes, like an upper GI study, which tells me about the anatomy of the upper GI tract, or an ultrasound to rule out pyloric stenosis. So those are going to be some of the sort of initial screening tests that we look for other causes, um, but you don't necessarily have to do a test for reflux disease. The way we treat infants with reflux has changed over time. We know that infants don't produce more acid, and again, a lot of that reflux that's occurring is milk. So you can't really give a medication to make milk more alkaline. What we try to do is change the formula. That's that has been shown in studies to be the most effective way of treating infants with GERD. And so we'll get down to some of the more um, broken down formulas that have the milk protein is, is digested more for them and easier for them to digest. Most infants will outgrow reflux by 12 months of age. If I have patients who are better on the medicine, I give them one to two months on it. And then we say, all right, we're gonna try to come off. We're gonna try to taper. And uh, if they can't come off of it, then that'll prompt more evaluation. So then I know what I'm treating. Our older patients with reflux will have more of the classic symptoms that adults experience. They'll have the indigestion. Sometimes they'll say they have abdominal pain, but it's sort of the upper part of their abdomen, more um, sort of referred pain from the base of their uh, food pipe or their esophagus. You know, we try to implement dietary strategies. So the first thing I'll ask is, do you notice if there's any um, correlation with food, with spicy foods, with um, greasy fried foods? Not too many kids have um, caffeine, although that is growing in popularity these days, and or red sauces, acidic foods. So we try to see if there's a correlation, and if there is, the best thing to do is just avoid that food or limit that food.